Hey guys, Luca here. Welcome to my Stamina Warden PvP build for the Blackwood chapter. The PvP non proc sets tests are over, which means we can use proc sets again. So let's take a look on the build together. There's monster set, Barlog of course. It's the strongest monster set by far in terms of damage. It gives us over 11k penetration and 500 weapon damage with 500 ultimate points. Both well fitted with the medium mask and a heavy shoulder. On the body, 5 clever alchemist which gives us 675 weapon damage for 20 seconds after use the potion. Try to make sure to use the potion right before a ulti dump. On the jewelry, Malakat, a smithic item, to especially empower our master brawler hits. It increases the total damage by 16% it decreases our critical damage by 50%. But since we use heavy armor and we don't even use a major savagery source, Malakat is still the best choice to go. Then a two set piece bonus with trainee ring and a trainee necklace. On jewelry by the way, full infused with weapon damage. For non-CP I recommend to use one stump cost reduction glyph instead. On the front bar, the most important weapon the Master 2H Maul, in sharpened with the Berserker Glyph. This juicy weapon hits extremely hard against multiple targets, I love to play it in small scale or 1vx. But keep in mind this build is a full AoE build, don't expect to kill a good player in a 1 vs 1 with it. A great sword should be also fine. On the back bar. A 2 set piece bonus with critical repost with a Nirn sword and a sturdy shield with the drain stamina poisons for extra sustain. If you don't have access to farm Malakat, you could use powerful assault at the back bar with clever alchemist on the body, but then you have to use the crit potions for major savagery. For a more tanky set, I recommend to use Pariah or Fortified Breath instead of Powerful Assault or Clever Alchemist. Let's take a look on the skills. Reverse Slice or AoE Execute, which I start to use usually at 25%, depends on the situation. Then Sub of course, super powerful AoE burst damage. Brawler, our AoE is spammable. It deals a ton of damage with the Master 2 Age and gives a huge shield too. Bird of Prey for Mage Expedition and Minor Berserk. Plus 2% extra flat damage thanks to this passive here. Forward momentum, our snare removal, and it gives mana endurance for sustain. Downbreaker of smiting, our ultimate. On the back bar, shimmering shield, one of the strongest defensive skills out there. It absorbs every projectile, gives major heroism, so a ton of ulti regen. Bullnetch for sustain, it perches too. You can basically spam it to purge every negative effect for free. Too strong in my opinion. Vigor, our hot heal, ice fortress, our resistance buff, and it gives minor protection. Polar wind, it got nerfed by 20%, but it's still strong enough to use it. And as defensive ultimate, spell wall, you could slot trees here instead if you want. For me, Nord is the best race to go, followed by Imperial and Orc. As Wonderstone, the Steed for extra speed. I personally need it for my playstyle. You could use Warrior or Serpent for no CP instead. Buffoot, the Arterium Takeaway Broth. I use three different potions the Resistance one with physical resistance, stamina, and HP. Then the Tricer potions and the Immovable potions with Mage Expedition. Most of the time I use the Resistance potions, they're extremely strong. Quick look on the CPs, blue ones are the new one with Master at Arms, which increases the direct damage by 10%, then Biting Aura, Duelist Rebuff, and Unassailable. Red CPs, Slippery, Dragonaut, Regimination, and Ironclad. That's it for the video, if you want to see some gameplay footage with this build, I posted a link down below, check it out. Next build will be a Stamina Necromancer one, probably again with the Twitch Master and Brawler spammable. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe, 
leave a like and ring the bell, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and the support, have a nice day, stay healthy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!